So, hello everyone, I'm morning with my review of Katsu episode 20. And I'm like, I told you so, told you so. <laughs> no, but I mean, come on, right? Come on. Yeah, that, that was like, who else would it be? I mean, I, I was like 100% right. So I'm like, I'm awesome. No, but seriously, who, who um, what could it have or what happened? Right? Who else could the brother have been? Or more like, who else could the father have been? Yeah, that, that, that's the more correct way to say it. How else would... Sadayoshi slash Dean, right? It's the same person. Who else would he be? Oh, it's the evil brother. It's like, yeah, who, who, who else would he be? Right? So that, that, that was um, absolutely no surprise whatsoever. And I am, um, I mean, even though it was absurdly predictable, and I said it assumed he was introduced in the flashback, I said, oh, it's him, it's the brother. Like, <laughs> yeah, I said it like four weeks ago, right? Yeah. But, and I kept saying it every episode, because it kept being more and more obvious. But even the first time I saw him, I was like, he has to be the brother. Really. Yeah. And every episode then has more or less, you know, created, uh, you know, him, him as the, how's it, created, or normal, cre not just created, but everything we see him create is like, he has to be the brother. Who else can he do all this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> the only person he could be otherwise, I feel, than the actual brother is the good brother. <laughs> but we know he died, right? He's, he's inside all the Shirogamas. So it's like, because he knows how to make the puppets, he doesn't make Atomata. He's the only guy that can make Atomata, right? He's, and then, especially when we saw him uh, episode 19, right? Then he had the Sonafia. I was like, wait, he can make Sonafia now too? He can even make the, the virus thing, which actually has small machines, right? Like, yeah, he has to be the brother. And also, how, how else we could do everything as well. So all of that also makes the other issue in the flashback, I still think it's a little bit bad here, but when like Angelina died and so on, like that was still a little bad, but I think that it makes more sense now, where, I mean, you kind of mean, you kind of have the same sense, because it's so obvious it was a brother, but still, yeah, like, it makes more sense now that, okay, these automata, they were stronger than the Zerg's automata, or at least somewhat stronger than them, at least the database ones. Uh, that he made them, right? Because he built them after he built other automata. So this is like level 2 automata, right? Whatever you call it, yeah, like, or evolution 2, whatever, yeah. So, yeah, it makes sense. So that made, that makes a lot of sense. Um, that being said, though, I still really wish they would explain that, right, in that episode. So that still doesn't really save that episode, because one major issue with her death scene was that when we see other Shirigans and her before and so on, and they can beat these automata and stuff like that, right? And then suddenly they get like completely owned right by this like random known the Matamata. And even though we know that it's by he's the one behind them, so it's like, oh yeah, they're probably better because he made them hundred years later, probably even stronger. So like it makes sense logically. No one ever said that, right? <laughs> no one of the characters ever said like, oh wait, these Atomata they have like new abilities. Oh yeah, like no one even commented or reflected over that. The only thing was that Francine said, oh I can't control them, what are these things? Yeah, that's the only person that commented, right? The Automata for scene, she's like, what is this Automata? Something else Automata? Yeah, and she's the only one ever, you know, mentioning anything. Also, of couldn't control them. So, but the other cat should definitely have, you know, said that. Like, why? I, I, like, guys should have been, I have fighting the circus guys for years now. These are way stronger or smarter or faster or whatever. Like, something that should have been said there. Anyway, whatever. I don't know how to come here to East, though. One thing I said, um, Episode 9 or 10? 8 or 10, right around there, right? So, basically, three months ago, yeah, I did say one thing though, which I kept saying for a while too, and that is absolutely true now. So, I was like, yeah, 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 everything really makes sense, so to speak. I told you so, right? Is that, of course, also, uh, he's the real bad guy, right? And I've been, that I've been saying for, uh, for a long time, right? Of course, the brother is the real bad guy. As soon as we saw the backstory, the first last week, I was like, wait, he's left there? He's left Francine, the doll Francine, and then she created the circus one, right? Well, clearly, the anime is gonna have another bad guy after her. Like, if, if they defeat her, oh, she was fake, but even if she wasn't fake, there was still gonna be another bad guy, right? Especially as, as it got so, so fast. But even if even if the circus was episode 20, right? There would still be, there's clearly another more evil guy out there. The one that actually created the current evil, right? That was very, very, in my opinion, very obvious, very predictable in episode 10 or so. And uh, 9 or 10, yeah, wait even. And then I was like, yes. So here now, three months later, I was like, yeah, it's definitely confirmed now. He has a freaking circus Zippelliner thing when he flies up into with his arm thing 
and you know uh, his beast hammer guy has like a griffon or something so it's like yeah we're like a manticore <laughs> so yeah of course and they're probably way stronger than the circus guy so it's like yeah of course he has this he's like a flying circus next level right level two of everything so that is exactly what i assume was gonna happen in episode yeah nine or ten yeah three months ago roughly i said it's like yeah that's gonna happen right he's gonna have a better stronger worse circus so to speak and it literally has that. <laughs> so it's, man, it's anime. I think, it, I think it's pretty good. But it's also, what people keep saying that thing too, it is really predictable. And let, let is, yeah, let's just, uh, let us face that. I think it's not just that, okay, I am really good at analyzing all the crew. Sure, like that's my job, right? I analyze stuff and I say, this is the pattern. And I, and I say, well, this pattern means this thing. If you do this pattern, if you sell more, or this pattern seems to increase this thing, right? Or, this pet that people would like or so on like that. Sure, I do know that for, for, for living, right? So I would say, like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the so even if you would ask me and say, are you good at analyzing and seeing patterns and so on, that's, that's my thing, right? And, um, but, damn, this is predictable. Like, but come on, like, who, who, did anyone else not believe that the evil brother was gonna be the actual bad guy after the circus, where he created the circus? He's still out there roaming free, right? And as soon as we have the the main character, right? It seems like his father is trying to get his body to have a new body. And yes, okay, then we also later learn that he wants to, to you know, get Shirogan, right? As a bonus. Then it's even more obvious to him because, yeah, he loves the whole Shirogan and Flynn and someone, Eleanor, and the lead of that, right? Yeah. So obviously, but even without knowing that, just knowing that he wants a new body, right? And we know that the Shirogan, they can live for a long time. But they do kill and die though, and they all get weaker when they're like old and so on, yeah. So it's like, who else would it be that would invent something like a memory download thing, right? It has to be him. And also, of course, knowing that memory download exists. So you can change your body into someone else, or you can change, yeah, you can take your brain into someone else's body. Knowing that, that that's a possibility, like that's actually a possibility in this world, why would he done it before, right? I think that's the biggest obvious thing here. In the, before the thing. So we know that evil dad, evil father, he could, you know, he can all of that into master, right? Right. To so that, so say that. And again, then, why wouldn't he, why wouldn't then Dean Satyoshi actually be someone else? Right? I, think, I think it's, I, I, I still must say, it's one of the most predictable anime I have seen in a long time. Last year, this is probably the most predictable anime, and this year as well, yeah. Because in that sense, right? So, okay, so. He's the guy, only guy in so far this anime universe that can download his brain right, yeah, into a new person. It's like, you are probably not the person you look at. Yeah, so as soon as you know that, you pretty much figure that, well, Dean or Satoshi cannot be him, right? Yeah, it's like, there's no way he has done it before, right? That, that is so obvious. And of course, it's going to be that. The, who, and then, who else would have downloaded himself into turning into Dean, right? And also, Dean isn't. Uh, the typical Shirogane. No one knows how Angelina found him because we saw him there, yeah. So it's like, well, there is another person that can create Shiruganes, but also he doesn't hate Francine. Uh, he loves her instead. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait a minute. So I mean, I mean, there's things. There's just so many things that it has to be him. And I think, I think, I think it's like, it's it's it's, it's a good story, but also in a way, it's. Not necessarily a bad story, but I think the anime does it a little too. The manga probably the same thing, right? Where the story has, there's so many issues, what has to be him. I think, I think that's probably the main thing. If it was like, um, um, how's it? If it was that, okay, so if I take all the different parts together, I can probably say, wait, this puzzle really, but all these paths to the puzzles, they point, they point to the brother. I think they point, they point to buy in and so on, and the whole. The first origin of the power side right? of the of the whole puppets and everything. Yeah, it points to them. Okay, it has to be him. Yeah, if that was a thing, that would be interesting. And I was, that would, that, honestly, that would be better, right? In my opinion, if it was all this thing coming together, it's kind of like how to say it? when you do the SITs, uh, at least in right from Sweden, right? And I think they're usually the same. You have multi questions in some of them. So, for example, in the logical exam, which of course I got. I got I, 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 did, uh, I remember this is a true story, side story. 
I did. I done it twice. So you can do it with So you can do it with math twice. I done it twice, and I had perfect score on the math part. I didn't have. Like, I did like, What's this America? Two thousand six hundred. I can't remember the ST in America, but I, but I had, I had almost perfect score altogether. But I had perfect score in the math one. I had like, absolute perfect score. But only also, <laughs> so the stupid side, stupid break uh, side story. I did the math thing, and I was doing the math thing, and the same thing here. because I remember it today. You have like a probability thing with a bit pants, and so the way you do it, right, in Sweden, is that you have like, oh, this boy has this number of pens in his bag, right, and um, you know these factors, right, you know blah 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 these things, and then it's like, if I also tell you a. Can you then solve how many blue pants there are, and not the red and green and so on? Yeah, from different colors. And if I tell you B, so then you can, can you then solve it, right? So it can be like, my A might tell you that okay, there are ten red pants. So first, first I tell you there are thirty pants in this bag. Okay, so thirty pants in the bag. Okay, fine. And then it's like A tells you it's ten red pants. Okay, and then B tells you it's ten green pants, right? So with that information, you know that okay, the three colors. If I know both A and B. I can then tell you it has to be 10 blue pens, and you can solve the issue, right? Uh, and that's usually how they are done, right? But different kind of versions. So it could be like, um, let's say, if I said tell you that there are three different colors in this bag, and of these pens, right? And it's like, figure out where the blue is. Also. Yeah, but I tell you that there are only as many red pens as there are green pens, okay? So I tell you that. I also tell you that before I tell you how many red or green are, I tell you that they have the same number. Okay, that's the information I gave you before, right? And then I tell you how many. Then I tell you, okay, A tells you how many red it is, right? And B tells you how many green it is. So in either case, knowing A or B, you can equally, of course, figure out that well, A gives me B answer and B gives me A answer, and then on the logical, you have to pick your decision, right? You can decide, okay, the actual answer is I can solve this issue knowing either A or knowing B, right? Where in the first case, you have to know both A and B to 100% sure tell me that it's uh, 10 blue pens. So those are two different. So depending on how the question is asked, right, the more information the question actually gives you, then depending on how A and B, right? And then of course, it can be that uh, it's either I, I, like A helps me solving it, B does nothing. Like B can tell you that uh, they are, let us be said, um, like they are all. There are no uh, black pants. And it's like okay, I know that. This should have, yeah, like that would be useless, right? So that is like only A helps me. Uh, it could be the reverse, right? And it also could be that nothing helps me. Like there are no white pants, there are no black pants. And it's like yeah, I know that. So they still just some number of blue pants. And then you pick. I cannot solve this question. Right? That's how they are f formatted, right? And uh, so the, the true story then is that the question was really bad written. So it, was, it gave you too much information. It's a, it's a blue pen thing. And uh, you were able to solve it without knowing A or B, which is never the case. <laughs> which is the most, it's supposed not to be the case. So uh, in, in that situation, so I, so I read a question. And I was like, well, if you do it, if you look backwards, you can actually solve it. Because they were like, oh, it has to be this many pens. And they was told me like, there are, there are more blue pens than there are red and green pens, double as many as that. So anyway, you could basically, you could actually determine exactly how many blue pens were without even reading A or B. And But the answer they wanted was that I could solve it with either A or B, right? So I actually reported that and I sent that to whatever states people doing it. So, like, so actually I had it in and I said, okay, obviously you're asking for uh, this is the answer you want. A or B can solve it. But in actuality, you can solve it without A and B. So this question is wrongly formatted, and then I got it right from that. So I actually sent it to them, and I reported them there for that, and they had to actually remove the question, and actually... <laughs> That's a true story! So I was like, no, 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 I can't solve it without knowing this thing, because it's a really stupid question, because they said too much information in the first, in the, in the first paragraph, without, before you go into it, so you can solve it right away, without even reading the, the other two ones, I was like, well, it's opposite 10, because they're telling me, I don't know what it said, but it was like, they are. E it's like they probably told me that it's equally a number of uh, blue, green, and red pants, and then if you say that, if there are equally a number of them, you know if 30 pants right, you can figure out it has to be 10 each, because it's like, 
Well, if it's supposed to be equal in many of these three colors, and it's 30, if you then divide 30 by 3, you get 10, right? Then you get, okay, it has to be 10 blue pens, then you also get 10 red pens, and you get 10 green pens. It was something like, it was something really silly like that. They actually told that in the question, and then they said, there are 10 and 10 blue and 10, yeah, 10, gre 10 red and 10 green. And I was like, well, I know that, because you told me that before. You told me that they are each equally the same amount, and they are each a third part each of the whole sum. So they're obviously used to take the full, full sum divided by three. That's the answer for all three of them. It's like a triangle, right? Like a, um, it's like an equal triangle. If an equal triangle, you know that each, uh, each uh, inner uh, angle is 60 degrees, right? Because they have to together get 180 degrees. That's how every triangle works. Like that's how it works. A perfectly equal triangle is always like that. That is the hell is reality. <laughs> so if you tell me that, well, here is a question. And two of these triangles, inner angles, are 60 degrees. Or actually, the old outer rim is 100 and is, is the 260 minus 60. Then. So you can turn to 20. You can also turn it, yeah. And it's like, uh, oh, okay. Well, then the last one is 60 degrees. It's like, obviously. So because they also have those questions usually in those math cells, where it's like on the math SAT, where they tell you, like, this is the angles. And it's like, well, if you take the reverse of that, you get the actual value. Like, for example, they might tell you that one angle, one, uh, one outer angle of a triangle is 320, and the inner angle is already 60. What is the last inner angle? Uh, and then they tell you more information. And it's like, I don't need more information. I know it's 60 because you told me, you know, enough geometry knowledge here. So it's, it's really weird, honestly. They're really stupidly done. Uh, yeah, you take them when you're 18 and 19 and so on, right? And it's really stupid because most of the, those, uh, the math things you can solve it by being like a nine-year-old. You can be like, well, if you know the actual geometry, which you can always learn, it's like basic geometry, it's like, it has to be this value. Whatever. The basic idea here I'm, I'm presenting it in a long, humble bragging math thing is the same thing with kind of curvy surface, right? It's like, you're telling me, so this is my point here, right? You're telling me that it's like, Solve the question: Who can be the even dad be right? And instead of telling me like, well, and I'm like, um, it's probably evil brother who's giving the narration, right? So that that could be like your normal guess without knowing anything, because it fits in the main, uh, like, like the other people, like Nafumi, his ancestry is being you know cycled right, and same with Eleanor, right? So they kind of get cycled right, and then we have the evil brother on the side ruining it for each couple, right? So that's kind of its obvious cycle. So you can assume it's the brother anyway, just from the general narration, right? Without knowing anything about the, you can be like, it's probably the brother. So already there, we kind of have already the, uh, you know, the viewpoint, right, from, from us. So that's a little bad in that sense. But then, of course, by telling us, like, here is his power of doing this thing, so now you're like, well, it has to be the brother, right? Like, that's the one thing. And the other thing is like, he has the power of knowing this thing. It's like, that also has to be the brother. I think, I think that's what I mean. Each uh, information we have, we have been presented is, each different, it's like five, six different, you know, informational bits we have, we have been given, right? And they all have pointed to evil brother being the last bad guy, uh, circus not after for a second being the actual bad guys, or the real bad guys, right? Being a stronger gathering of, you know, like this and bad guys, like we saw the episode, also been told, uh, also been ex ex excessively pointed to, um, and, and more, right? Yeah, and like the whole sugar and the robots of that thing as well. And it's so, you see what I mean? This is so many things. So obviously it gets predictable. But I think a problem again there, it's not just a little predictable itself. But by now, when we have all those 10 different parts, we can always say, oh, he's gonna be the answer. And if he wasn't the answer, it's just that it would be really stupid. So that is true though. If it wasn't him now, this episode, it would be completely retarded and be like, wait, what? But everything points to be him, and it's not him. Yeah, that would be completely retarded. So it has to be him now because every part points to him, right? But but again, though, but the the, the issue I see here is that of course different details of a storyline can be different valuable to be able to determine it. Like these ten parts aren't equal, right? In most storylines or most narration, anime, manga, whatever movies, right? There are different values how much they tell you about the character. Okay, this is very predictable. And I, more like this part here is very important. Like we learned that he has the power to create not automata but also the sickness, right? Okay, that has to be the brother. Like that's a 
big, big part, right? Another part like he's in love with uh, Shirugan or no friend seen uh, Angelina. Also a big part of him, right? Um, he escaped the circus thing and left them. Big part, right? Uh, but, but, it's, but it's like where hmm, Dean's, Dean's name, uh, Sadayoshi's name is actually Dean's name. Like, important to that is that he's actually from Japan. So it's somewhat important. Like, it points out that he's actually also from Europe, like, you know, and Angelina and so on. So it has like some degree of marriage, right? But it's not really that important. You see what I mean? That That's like a lesser value of detail, right? So they are not equal, right, in any kind of storyline. But the problem here, then, so which of course I've already said, but again, the problem here is that each of these parts, almost all of these parts in this big, you know, conspiracy parts, they're all very, very powerful, right? That's the problem. They are all of them are very, very, like, forthcoming. That is him, right? Yeah. Instead of being like, like the part of his, he's actually from Europe, interesting. Or, well, for China and Europe, yeah, but you see what I mean. Like, you know, that is like an interesting, hmm, it's probably the guy that had escaped with the circus. Yeah, like that's like a lesser detail. If all of them was like that, then we could be here and say like, ah, ah interesting, you managed to predict the outcome, ah, yeah. But now, of course, again, because all these parts are so incredibly obvious and him, it does get a little bit like, yeah, it has to be here. Well, that's so stupid, right? And it does also feel like, from a narrational standpoint, because the anime has so clearly, clearly pointed it to be him, now in episode 20, after an extremely high-paid storytelling, right? The anime is so high-paced. So this is like book 20. Now it's like, ah, it was him. It's like, yeah, I, I, I've been knowing that. So that's like, I think a problem I feel, right? It was, again, then, because it's been so extremely obvious, is that this like at book 20 is yeah it's him but it's like we know that for like 10 books now you, you could as well told me that 10 months ago see what i mean that's kind of the feeling right reading books for the month now is of course it's short three, three months but that, that's kind of how it feels, it feels right it feels like well i've been so obvious for me that this is the truth for yeah three months now uh, as an anime watcher but like really really high paced anime right so it's like yeah you don't say you, you, you don't say so in that way it feels good that it's finally out there and you can see the kind of end goal the Zeppelin are now shaving Shirugan right from his her evil uh, lover I guess yeah like so that's good in a sense but on the same time it's like knowing he is the bad guy and so what could have been told or you know it's just I mean yeah it's so predictable it's um it's good but also not really good yeah it's good but also like come on we all know this yeah and it could, it could have been done better the only thing that makes it start is that he is also commander faceless like i did say though when he died died that it was very phony and it made no sense and also like he's probably not dead i did say that when he got stuck for the for the film so i was on the money i was like man that is that doesn't make any sense is he trying to just to fake out the phone off in the battle i did say that though so um I was, I was I was definitely sniffing there too. That was weird as well. That being said, though, which I don't like, which I think actually, it's not only the died for that for me, and he didn't die, but you know, fake died because it doesn't make any sense. They would care about that for me so unless he just wanted to, you know, escape the actual place there or you know do his actual business there. But a problem with that battle, I would say, um, primarily, right? Well, not the battle, but that he is coming and face that is that. How did he have time to do all these things? Because he was the brother or the evil father just before the story starts, right? And then he survived the acid thing somehow. <laughs> so first of all, he survived the acid thing, and I guess that led him to have no body. So when he created the commander faceless, or was the, but when did faceless take control over the Shirugan? I think that's a problem. Right? Like when did faceless become the Shirugan, uh, uh, you know, face? Right? When did he become that? And of course, he has less, you know, he has the body parts, uh, the acid thing, and then he also managed to go and do that thing. And then, as soon as that was over, he managed to get back to Japan for the village thing, so he could be at the village thing exactly when he sounds out again, which he knew somehow he was going to be at that meeting, because he's also pretending to be this other guy, Ducky, they've never seen before. And he has to also infiltrate that thing. So that I feel is a big issue. That I feel is a user complete like, what? So not because he can't be faceless, 
but also being the older guy. It's like he's two older personalities at the same time, and it's time to do all of these things while also fighting the circus. See what I mean? It would be more reasonable that he was the commander guy, and he sent all this, you know, Robo Shugan and, and fought, fought for him, fought for Nafumi and so on, but he didn't actually enter the battle. Then he was like, yeah, I see you guys on the outside. And he, then he went to Japan to prepare these things. And that, that would be my. So now he went down there. He almost died down there, and then he had time to do that and then escape back to Japan. Right? Like, like, pretty much the next day. I don't know the time frame here, but this here is the anime pacing time. It's so quick, so it's like, wasn't he in the Sahara Desert yesterday? If it's like, there have only been a few days, right, between the desert and this thing. And this is how it looks like for me as an anime viewer. I, I don't know how long the time is portrayed here, but Masuri left Shirigana there, and that was used after the Sona Fumi. And then he was like instantaneously going to China and then so hard. So, so I almost don't know the time frame here, but it feels like that he phony died in the desert like a week ago at most, right? And he was already in here before that with the whole acid thing. And then he had time to do that thing, get back to separate things and so on, right? Get back to Japan and then get into his other fake personality that is somehow higher rank in the Ninja clan, get into that life and then be at the right time, the right meeting and so on. And then we just wait until it's like, ha, I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, that, that to me, though, seems uh, you stupid, honestly. Like, how are they time to do other things? What is this other Daiki character? Was that a character that they knew for a long time? Has he, planned, has he pretending to be one of the ninjas for like 20 years? Or, you know, all of that, right? That, that is really weird. And also, why is Commander face is his actual face now? I mean, he, was, he, he looked completely different. As Sadayoshi and B, and isn't that his actual face? Like, isn't that his, you know, the real face he has, right? That he had from the boy in, in China there, isn't that his actual, like, you know, his literal his face? And then when he got acid burned and lost, like, his arms and so on, why did he then. Sh I mean, I guess he said his face to be commanded faceless. I guess I don't call it faceless, but you know what I mean. Uh, but then after his reason, I'm also faceless. It's like, where did his face go back to being. Saturday Osh's face, which is the actual face and not the faceless face. Because wouldn't the faceless face be the actual disguise for Dean? And isn't Dean the actual face? So shouldn't he tell him, I'm actually Commander Faceless, but I'm also Dean? Like, wouldn't that make more sense if his face turned back into his you know, original Chinese boy face? That guy, he actually was, who is still, but, but the arms are like me mechanic since he became faceless like it, ah, whatever that thing was just weird and i don't like it, honestly i don't like it he has to come in a faceless face now uh instead of just having dean's face it's one thing that he's both of them even that it's also kind of silly but if it's more silly that his face isn't reverting back to his like previous you know that face right so i think that's a, that's kind of ridiculous but anyway hope i review hope i thought maybe the map thing right it's like because you have this a and b information you can then solve it but if you don't, you can't solve it. But in this case, we can solve it with both ha without having that and having B and having A and having C and so on, right? It's like, it's like all the parts telling us we can solve the question with, yeah. They keep telling us so much information that we can always solve it with knowing our A and B and B and C and so on. Uh, well, anyway, see you guys for Neverland soon coming here. Always have a great day.